I thank you for bringing attention to the issue. I thank you for being willing to take the time and expend the energy and the sweat equity to come forward. Because if you don't walk, if you don't stand up for our veterans who need the help, who need that awareness brought for them, who will? Who will but you? Family members, veterans yourself, loved ones of veterans who have lost their lives, taken their own lives, struggled with mental health. One of the challenges that we find across the spectrum with delivering mental health services in California is we always wait until the problems become acute. We always wait until there's a crisis. Why can't we do a better job of embracing people as they need just a little bit of help so that they don't get into the dire situations that they have been? And I've talked to a number of veterans. I've talked to people across the state who face mental health issues or whose loved ones face mental health issues. And it's the same story. In my pack, I've had a list of over 600 names of veterans who served with the oldest being a man who had fought in the Seminole Indian War in the Civil War, the youngest being an Iraqi veteran who took his life just eight weeks ago. These 600 names were in my pack all the way here. I didn't carry these names. They carried me. They carried us. We had to deliver those names here to this Capitol building. These are California veterans, some serving, some have passed. But these are the men and women that we are here for. So you're standing up for better veteran services. You're standing up to make sure that as our veterans are coming home from overseas, that they're given a welcome, that they're given a welcome mat, and a chance to understand what's available for them, a chance to have the conversations that they need before it gets worse. The state has been trying to fund veteran services officers in each of, each of the counties. We need to continue to do that and do a better job so that local resources are available when men and women who have served our, in our armed forces have those available. In my district in the Monterey area, the Veterans Transition Center is a really good example of finding housing and services, bringing veterans in, giving those kinds of resources that are available, and we need to replicate that across the state. We need housing, we need mental health services, we need to make sure that everyone who has served our country when they come home have a chance to reintegrate, have a chance to solve their inner demons, have a chance to be a productive member of society as they want to, as they deserve, and as we need them to be. So we do things like veterans courts and we do things like outreach and mental health services because you know how to talk to veterans especially veteran to veteran, is very, very effective. And the more we can engage into those processes, the stronger our systems will be for our veterans. I, I, I'm amazed at the walk that you have just done. I think that's very, very impressive. And I'm hoping that there should be lots of people out here and lots of media out here to focus on what you've brought and the message that you've brought to Sacramento and that we have to take back to our districts as legislators and say, we're not doing enough, we need to do more and we need to make sure that we're addressing all of the issues and especially mental health, and I know that's your focus, that our veterans deserve and they need as they come through. You made it, you made it brother. Thanks for being in my life, man.